Today our subject is going to be fixed indexed annuities. You know there's a lot of talk out there about annuities, some of it positive, some of it negative, and certainly they both have valid points. But today we're going to talk about fixed indexed annuities. Let me say right up front, not everyone needs an annuity and not every client or investor needs a fixed indexed annuity. But is there a place for them if you really understood them as part of your financial plan? So for us, we think of them in terms of people who are maybe 50 years old and older, 50, 55, 60, maybe already into retirement, because they are meant to be a conservative product or investment as part of your portfolio. If you're going to consider them at all, it's more of a conservative play, more like a bond alternative. Folks, this is not your stock market money, which is there for growth, stocks, mutual funds, ETFs, exchange traded funds. They're for longer term growth and you're going to make a lot more, you can lose a lot more, but over time you're probably going to make a really nice return if you're willing to keep it there in the market. But as we get older, we also want to make sure that more of our money is conservative and protected because we don't have time on our side to earn it back. So consider a fixed indexed annuity. At least hear me out and hear some of the pros and cons about them because they're not perfect. But the way they work is that whatever your deposit is, let's say that you deposit $50,000 or $100,000 into the fixed indexed annuity, your principal is protected from stock market declines. So if the stock market goes down, Instead of getting a negative 5% loss, 20% loss, 25% loss, you get a zero. You start with 50,000, you end with 50,000. So you didn't earn anything that year, but you also didn't fall back to 40,000. When the market goes up, your earnings are based on how a stock market index does, like the S&P 500, NASDAQ, Dow Jones, Russell 2000, the product and you and your advisor actually gets to pick which index you get to follow. But let's take the one that most people follow with their fixed indexed annuities, the S&P 500. Let's say that you have a cap because these annuities have a cap on your upside. They're also a cap on the downside. The downside cap is zero. The upside cap can range. So don't hold me to this, but let's just say that it's 10%. If the stock market and the S&P goes up 20%, you don't get 20%. You're capped at 10. So let's say that you start at that $50,000 that we talked about, and the stock market goes up 20%, you get 10%. 10% of 50,000 is 5,000. So at the end of that year, your new value is $55,000 and that's locked in. That becomes your new low point. So when the market goes down, let's say that it does the S&P in year two, it loses 10%. So the first year it made 20%, the S&P 500 in the stock market, the next year it loses 10%. In your fixed indexed annuity following the S&P 500, you don't lose anything. Remember, your cap on the downside is zero in most cases. And so that being the case, you started the year with $55,000, you end the year with $55,000. So some of the things that people need to consider with the fixed indexed annuities is the fact that there is a term that you have to consider. In other words, you have to hold your money there a certain amount of time. The way these companies make money is they use your money, somewhat similar to how a bank uses your money when you place it into a one year or five year CD, certificate of deposit. They make their money by using your money over time. It's not dissimilar in an annuity. So a fixed indexed annuity you may need for your money to be there to gain all of the benefits of the annuity. Your, your money may need to be there, at least part of it, for five to ten years. You get to select the period again, shorter term, medium term, or longer term. But just because you have your money there for a certain period of time doesn't mean that you can't get to any of your money. Most of these companies allow you to pull out 10% of your money and the earnings year after year. So 
if you have $55,000 in there, you need some money, you can get $5,500 out without any penalty at all. And then next year, you can take more money out again. And next year, take more money out again. Year after year, you have access to your monies. Now, most people that have the retirement monies aren't spending large amounts of money all at once anyway. So for many clients, this really isn't a factor because they have access to their money. They just aren't going to spend it all in one year or one day. And so you have to think about the terms. Also, the liquidity amount. Most of them allow for 10%, but not all of them. So a good question to ask is, how much, if I need money, how much money do I have access to each 12-month period? And then another thing to consider is, what is the cap and can it change? There are certain companies that once you open the fixed indexed annuity, whatever the cap rate is, and again, I used 10% before, it could be eight, it could be six, it could be 12, but let's say it's 10. It stays that way through all your term. There's other annuities that that can change some. It might go up to 11, it may go down to eight in year two or three or four. So that's a question that you need to ask. And then what other stock market indexes are there that I can consider for this? So just to kind of wrap it up, think of this in terms of you can put IRA money there or retirement money, or you can just put regular money into a fixed indexed annuity. Typically, there are no annual fees. Now, some of them do. You can add riders and so on that might charge you half a percent or one percent or whatever. But many of the great products that are out there today, there's actually no uh, annual fee in order to have that account. The company makes money over time using your money and giving you a reasonable rate of return. So again, this is bond alternative money. If you get a good bond for 10 years, 20 years, or 30 year period, which they're typically much longer than even a fixed indexed annuity is, but if your money is there over that period of time, if you get three to six, four to seven percent on average, you're pretty thrilled with that bond. In a fixed indexed annuity, most of the products that we're working with right now today for clients are also getting three to six or four to seven average over the term per year on their accounts with generous, I think, generous amounts of liquidity and there are caps. And so again, this is your conservative money, but it can be a very good alternative for those looking for principal protection and a reasonable rate of return. If you'd like to learn more about fixed indexed annuities or topics similar to this, please subscribe to our channel or reach out to us at Beacon Capital Management for more information.